there, and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and you're in the middle of a series called Five Poems a Day. And for the next few months, I'll be going through different um, styles and types of poetry to introduce you to new voices in um, the the realm of poetry, um, as well as inviting you to take on the challenge of writing poetry for yourself. So let's get started. Praise Song by Lucille Clifton To my Aunt Blanche, who rolled from grass to driveway into the street one Sunday morning. I was ten. I had never seen a human woman hurl her basketball of a body into the traffic of the world. Praise to the drivers who stopped in time. Praise to the faith with which she rose after some minutes, then slowly walked, sighing back to her family. Praise to the arms which understood little or nothing of what it meant, but welcomed her in without judgment, accepting it all like children might, like God. The Partial Explanation by Charles Simic Seems like a long time since the waiter took my order. Grimy little luncheonette. The snow falling outside. Seems like it has grown darker since I last heard the kitchen door behind my back. Since I last noticed anyone pass on the street. A glass of ice water keeps me company at the table I chose myself upon entering. And a longing incredible longing to eavesdrop on the conversation of cooks. Tour by Carol Snow. Near a shrine in Japan, he'd wept, he'd swept the path and then placed camellia blossoms there or we had no way of knowing. He'd swept the path between fallen camellias. After Us by Connie Winnick. Rain is falling through the roof and all that prospered under the sun. The books that opened in the morning and closed at night and all day turned their pages to the light. The sketches of boats and strong forearms and clever faces and of fields and barns and of a bowl of eggs and lying across the piano the silver stick of a flute. Everything invented and imagined, everything whispered and sung, all silenced by cold rain. The sky is the color of gravestones The rain tastes like salt and rises in the streets like a ruinous tide. We spoke of millions, of billions of years. We talked and talked. Then a drop of rain fell into the sound hole of a guitar, another onto the unmade bed. And after us, the rain will cease or it will go on falling even upon itself. Poetry by Don Paterson In the same way that the mindless diamond keeps one spark of the planet's early fires trapped forever in its net of ice, it's not love's later light that poetry holds, but the atom of the love that drew it forth from the silence. So if the bright coal of his love begins to smolder, the poet hears his voice suddenly forced like a barroom singer's, a boastful sound with his huge feeling or drowned by violins. But if it yields a steadier light, he knows 
the pure voice, when it finally comes, will sound like a mountain spring, anonymous and serene. Beneath the blue, oblivious sky, the water sings of nothing, not your name, not mine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share this with someone that you think would really um, appreciate this kind of series. And also let me know if there's some sort of series you'd like me to, um, to take on on this podcast.